I'm gonna go ahead and remove or, or unclick the three retainer tabs here. Right there, and there's one in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bolt right here. That is a 13 millimeter, and there would normally be one here, but ours is missing one. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt. Pop this hose off. Using an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this hose clamp here and this one right here. This tube that we just connected from the air boss comes over here to the side of the oil fill neck. I'm just gonna slide that off and set this aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this unit up. That might be easier if we pop this and then separate this, set this aside. Grab the air filter lid here. If you can, pull the whole unit right up and out. Now the cam position sensor is located right underneath the alternator and we're gonna use a pair of pliers here to release the clip on it. All right, so there's a little spring tab clip on the outside of it or inside of it and we wanna pinch it and then pull that connector off. It's hard for us to get our hand in there. We're gonna work this in. And wanna be careful because this is a plastic connector so you don't wanna crush it with the pliers. So right inside, just to the right of that sensor is a 10 millimeter bolt we need to get to. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and extension to get into that. Using the same pliers we used before to disconnect the harness, we're gonna reach down in there, grab that sensor, and we're gonna try and work that a little bit back and forth. All right. Let's see if we can reach in there and pull that out.
I'm gonna have to pull this harness over a little bit. There we go. Now before installing the unit, there is an O-ring around the perimeter. We're gonna use a little bit of engine oil, clean engine oil that is. Put some around the O-ring. It's gonna help this slide in a little bit easier. I'm gonna go ahead and line that unit up. We have the sensor lined up. We're gonna go ahead and try and get those threads started on the bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and get that 10 millimeter bolt threaded in and snugged up. I'm gonna go ahead and snug this down. I'm go ahead and grab that connector Line that back up. And press that onto the sensor. And you hear a little audible click once that snaps on. I'm gonna go ahead and install our air filter box base. We have this post right here that needs to go into this rubber bushing right here. Let's go ahead and get that installed. Once you have that installed, let's go ahead and get the bolt installed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install the bolt for the box here. We'll go ahead and thread in a few threads, and then we'll go ahead and tighten it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install our air filter, then we're gonna put our lid on. snap our clips on. Let's go ahead and install our intake tube. I'm going to put this post into the rubber grommet. And then while we're doing that, we're going to line up the intake tube here, work that on there, compress it, and we're going to work it onto the air box itself. Let's go ahead and tighten down our hose clamps. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up our tube right here, press that down, and I'll reconnect the other end right here. Here we go. 